How you guys doing today? So today I wanted to talk about um, the big difference between direct to garment and screen printing. Now I know that you've seen a lot of videos talking about um, direct to garment and screen printing and direct to garment doesn't do this, it doesn't do that, it washes out, it does this, it does that. Today I wanna actually come in and bring you the true facts about what direct to garment is for and what it's not for. But before I get started, my name is Maya. I've been in the printing industry over eight years. Own my own shop down here in South Florida. I've done all types of printing from fashion direct to garment. I've um, you know outsourced screen printing and um, in-house on sublimation to stickers. I mean, name it, I've done it. Graphic design was my trade. I started with graphic designing and from graphic designing, I started printing. Um, how I got into printing, we'll discuss that in a different video. It was actually interesting, interesting um, uh, reason on why I got started into printing. Now, what a lot of people don't understand is that direct to garment is not one of those things where you're just gonna throw the shirt on the machine press print and it's gonna print a perfect you know a perfect shirt a perfect garment you actually have to understand the material which your, your garment is made out of now a lot of a lot of screen printers are not really happy with direct to garment and that is the truth so a lot of them are already big time influencers and they're gonna do their best to keep direct to garment from growing and hitting the market direct to garment is eventually gonna take over screen printing. I know it's, it's a reality that a lot of people don't wanna face, but that's what's gonna happen. It's a new technology, even though it's been out well over eight to nine, probably 10 years by now, it's getting better with time. When I first started with direct to garment five years ago, the printers around me didn't care for it. Most of the consumers didn't know about it. Um, as the market is changing and people wanna just do one or two off, three off shirts, they had to figure out which ne next technology would actually help their situation. And that's where direct garment started taking footing. Now you have companies like Printify, Printful, and um, you know some other um, printing companies who's been using direct garment this whole time. Now with the pandemic happening now, kind of exposed a lot of people to, hey, we may need to actually consider other options of printing. And so now direct garment is coming full fledged now. There is a difference in printers and, you know, not all printers are equal. I started with one of those, you know, American remade P600, which is a printer by Epson. And it was not intended for direct garment. The people that I bought it from, they kind of configured the printer to do direct garment. And I must tell you, I made a lot of money with that printer, but it was painful. It was the most painful thing I ever had to do. Um, I've lost a lot of clients with that printer when the printer didn't want to print. Um, I didn't take a cheap route. That printer was not cheap. It was well over 12000 But at the time, it was a cheaper option. So I went with that printer. Now, fast forward four years later, um, I recently um, purchased a $20,000 printer, direct to garment, completely different from what I used to have before. This printer is a beast, okay? Now, now, there's a couple of things about it that, you know, I feel that could be better, but we'll discuss that on another video, not this one. This one, I would just want to talk about how direct to garment is in the market and how it can help you and your business situation, okay? Now, average person is probably not going to be able to afford a $20,000 printer. Keep in mind, I've been doing this for a long time. So for me to buy this printer, it was not really testing the market. It was an investment for my business, okay? I'm gonna say since I bought the printer back in July of 2020, I've already made my money back within the first month or two. But keep in mind, those clients were clients that I already had. I didn't have to acquire new clients in order for me to pay off my printer. So when you're making a decision, whether or not direct to garment is for you, three things you need to keep in mind. One, do I have the customers to pay for this machine? Two, do I have the time to invest in learning everything about this machine? And lastly, three, does it make sense? A lot of people wanna acquire a lot of equipment and it doesn't make sense. Sometimes you, it's better for you to partner up. There are machines that I will not buy. 
you know, I've partnered up with great vendors and I will work with them. We'll continue working with each other because it doesn't make sense for me to go buy another machine, spend time, learn how to use it. It doesn't make sense. So to, to get back to what we're talking about, direct to garment versus screen printing, there's really no comparison. They are two different style of printing and we need to come to terms that neither one of them can replace the other. The screen printing is gonna go away it's going to be considered something that, you know, antique people do. Like, you know, I used to be a photographer when, back when film was still alive. Nobody uses film now, but there are still, you know, um, high-end, unique photographers that still use film. It's the same thing for printing on shirts. Direct-to-garment is going to be the popular choice, where screen printing is going to be like, you know, like a classic choice. It, it's sad, but that's where the market is going guys i don't want to hurt nobody's feelings but that's where the market is going so if you want to know more about direct garment how to use it how to print the type of ink all of that how to get into the business of direct garment go ahead and click that um subscribe button follow me comment below if you have any questions feel free to ask me my name is maya g i've been doing this for a long time and i'm here finally to share my experience with you guys there's my little workshop behind me We'll be getting into the workshop. So until then, until next time, guys, enjoy this video, share, like, subscribe, and peace.